Hey everyone, this is a video tutorial for how to build the interlaced polyhedra V8. Now the first thing you're going to need is a stellated rhombic dodecahedron. And I have a tutorial for this already, so if you go watch that and you can see how to build it. And then that is the first thing you need. And so I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. You're also going to need 12 of these subunits. And the way that you make those is you start off with three edge pieces. And two of them are shorter, and they're the same length. They're made out of um, double stacked rings of 15. And then one of them is longer, and it's made out of two stacked rings of 32. So what you do is you take a little bit of a chain, and for the longer one, you remove the two magnets in the middle, just like that. And then for these two, you want to remove the magnets out here on the points. And then you can attach them together right here. Just like that. And then, finally, you can take a little square and add it down right in here. Just like that. And then last of all, you may need to pinch it right here in the center to where it settles down into this alignment. And that's how you make these. And you need 12 of them and good, okay, same polarity. Um, and now to start assembling this thing, it's a little bit of a roundabout method, but um, you know, it's the best that I could come up with because this is really weak unless almost all of these stellations are on. It's pretty sturdy once they're all on, but if you start taking more than two or three off at a time, then it gets really flimsy. So I think the best thing to do, or at least the best thing that I've found to do, is to build this whole thing and then remove these in groups of one or two and then add these on underneath them. So the first thing that you want to do is remove one of these stellations, and it's easiest if you have a card. And so you remove it just like that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and remove all of the top three here. And you do want to be very careful when you're doing that because you don't want to have it fall apart on you. So then the next thing that you want to do before you start adding them back on is you want to alter these subunits a little bit. The first thing you want to do is you want to extend every leg by adding four magnets on like that. And you want to do that to each leg of all of these. And then the other thing you want to do for them is you want to remove those eight magnets here underneath the tip where that you put in as reinforcement um, when you built the stellated rhombic dodecahedron. So it'll go back to looking like that. And you want to do that to the other two. Okay. And then once you have that removed, what you're basically going to want to do is set these inside of these. And they just kind of fit in nice and simply like that. Um, the connection is really weak though. You see, I can just take it right back apart. So at first, you want to be very careful because they have a tendency to fall out from underneath these. And I find that actually the easiest thing to do at first is to take the first three of them and you go ahead and attach them together by bringing the points to the sides and clicking them together. And take the first three of them and make them into this shape. And then you can go ahead and add them down. Let's see if I can show this a little bit better on top of this shape just like 
like that. Then you just want them to kind of rest there. They're not really attaching to anything. They're just kind of sitting there for now. And then you can go ahead and attach these altered subunits back down where they were before. Um, and when you do, you might, they might, this might kind of click down a little bit like that. So you might want to just go ahead and do that beforehand. And once they're all attached, you can kind of lift this up so that the corners fit inside the stellations that you just put back. And since there's three of them, it'll help them stick in a little bit. Because if there's just one and it's not attached to any of the other ones, then it really does just like to fall out. And then you kind of have to start over. Um, so make sure that those are kind of nice and in there. And then once you have that, you can go ahead and, you know, I think it's easiest to work if what you want to work with is on the top. So you can kind of rotate this over and do the same thing with all these other subunits. Remove them and change them and attach these things and add them back down. And there you go. That is how you build the interlaced polyhedra V8. And I think I have a couple of bent edges here and there because I wasn't being very careful with it. But, you know, just straighten those out if you have any. And that's all there is to it. So I guess I will smash it now.